go. The pick of G2, and then we're gonna sell it all on dust at the end of the day. The ESL One Road to Rio is now, and the hypest match I can deliver to you today on my behalf is here. Yeah, we hear that music, and that means the pistol round is beginning. Let's and now it has up. begun. Aww. Aww. The drop's like the best bit. It really is. <laughs> I haven't heard that drop in a while either, so you know I'm like really fiending for it. I love like just listening to music up until the drop. It's and like turning uh, it off. Yeah. It's a real tease for the years. And Harry, boy. Harry runs into EDM concerts and then runs out as fast as he can. Of course. <laughs> Let me see you make some noise! And I just leave. That's it. That's what I go. And well, speaking of going, Masuta is gone. And oh. then followed up is RPK. This round already not looking spick and span for Vitality. This is new. This is their map pick. And the pistol looking like well. it might elude them in a very big way. There's not even a point of damage done to G2 in that round there. there there's one word, Hugo. Just one. Wrecked. R-E-K-T. Yes. Wrecked. Did Vitality even fire a shot? That's what I'm wondering in that round. I didn't see any T-side yeah, bullets go out. I didn't see a bullet go out. I didn't see any damage get done. Definitely no damage. That was one yeah, shot from shocks, but that's it. No kill, no connection, no worry. G2, what a storming nah. pistol round to start the series here. I think what's so exciting about this game is while we have these like Swedish matchups, you know, fairly commonly, this isn't a game we've ever had. Last time G2 and Vitality played was in April of 2019. Now those are completely different rosters back at that point. So we haven't had this matchup yet, and that's what's making it even more exciting. Who is the best in If France? I'm not mistaken, they played each other at that event with the uh, with the singer who walked off on stage. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, the like, the, uh, Char 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 I can't even Charleroi think of it. Charleroi Esports. Not yeah. Charlemagne. Charlemagne, Charlemagne the God. Yeah. <laughs> Charlemagne, the DJ's esports event. Of course, none of us have heard of it because it doesn't exist. Nexel, on the other hand, exists in a really big way, and some damage has actually been put outward from Vitality, but it's not enough. Kenny on seven, but the round goes to G2 at the end of it all. Easy stuff here so far for G2. Yeah, for reference for that series, Vitality closed it on cash. So that gives you a good idea as to how long ago it was. Well, Prehistoric, no, almost. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think cash was in the pool. There it was just uh, it was the fact there was a local land, right? So something most, to do with that, maybe. I most mean, this lands was, are local. You are correct. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you're close to them, Trace. Mm -hmm. Either way, I mean, yeah, not in the map pool then, but uh, it was for that tournament, I guess. Either way, it's going to be Vitality buying up into round number three. Big old investment. We got AKs across the board. Kenny on the AWP as well. Always an exciting factor. And he takes it towards the ramp. Leaving outside pretty clear, pretty open. Being watched from the backside from Jax, who's only looking for info. Yeah, I mean, Nexa playing here inside of, of mini hut is, or excuse me, a mini garage. You know, they have basically said, you guys can have outside for the most part. You know, we're not going to let you kind of rap on us and go to hell, but we do have the crossfire set up so that you can't just you know, storm through the front door, basically. Nonetheless, you guys touched on this a little bit in the pre-match. RPK has been pretty exciting to watch as of late. Of course, giving us more interviews as of late would be Shoxy, so also enjoy those. It's the little things, you know? Yeah. It's the little details. Speaking of the details, here they are. Smoke down a mini garage. Team Vitality edging around outside. Maybe they make it to secret. 45 seconds left on the clock and still plenty of room to run here. They get big garage control. But already this setup from G2 has been constructed in a way that they can trade, that they can get these sort of shots off and get out of the fight as fast as possible. Jax, though, oh, being the no. first point of the contention, was not really in the plans, it seems. Shocks is the one to find the shot. Time though, 20 seconds, they've got to go. Hunter, he's gonna push hard, good time. He only gets one for it, and Amanek is trying to stall out the site with the smoke behind him. He finds the bomb, it falls down into the floor. Shocks can pick it back up and get the plant. 10 seconds, Vitality no longer own heaven, and that at least opens up a world for a retake here for G2. They're both coming in from lobby. Azut is in the door, they don't realize just yet. Not Molotov being thrown by Nexa, he's got to clear this close position, but as a crossfire from the site already enabled, Mizuta going to try and force the kill, and he does, but it's traded, and with that trade, Kenny will save. He doesn't want to lose his AWP in the one-on-two, -on -two. and so he will give Vitality their first round. Yeah, it was an attempt at the bonus round from G2, right? They still had a couple of SMGs in play, and so they will be able to invest into this following one, as long as Kenny holds on to this AWP. Team Vitality gonna get their first round on the board nice and early, and they are able to 
deal with that one even as the clock started to run out. Masuta doing a lot to make it happen here with these entries into the A-bomb site. He was even the man to remove Amanek from his little spot on the other side of the smoke. So Masuta off to a good start here for Vitality. Look at Jax. I'm a big fan of that purchase. I think the auto shotgun is one of the least Most. appreciated weapons for just how good it is in CSGO. I think it's one of the only shotguns that's really worth any uh, any of the money dropped on it. Let me go on a limb here, Harry, and say it's the most overrated, underrated weapon in the game. Overrated, underrated? Yeah. It's overrated when I get a bunch of kills with it. Okay. Excuse me, underrated when I get a bunch of kills with it. I hate it to death when I die to it all the time. But of course, Hunter doesn't necessarily need a shotgun to shoot through the smokes. It's RPK to fall first. Oh, Kenny. Darts up through secret. He only manages to get one before he's traded. And now they're looking to isolate this fight onto Nexa. And the fact that they're able to get it, the two IGLs going blow for blow out in the garage, now leaves this in a three on three. And G2 with no outside control. They try and send Amanek in for a little peek. And he did see Zaiwu crossing into the garage. Jax has pushed the lobby. Masuta here, but he gets immediately <laughs> wow. domed down by the auto shotgun. Ooh. A two on three, Apex and Zaiwu at this A bomb site. A chance for a plant at the very, very least. But Jax is waiting. There's players up in heaven. Ready to split into this site at a moment's notice. Zaiwu planting for main. And as he does it, the two players try and get out upper. Apex has dropped the first Ooh. and follows up. Despite being dinked, it's not the killing blow. And Zaiwu. Dropping Jax puts a second on the board for Team Vitality. They get it done between the two of them. And you know, Hugo, we look at that. Jax was alive for so long at the event. You got to start to question, should he have come out earlier? Yeah, he definitely should have been trying to trade his teammates there, right? Like sneaking through. He was watching main the entire time. So maybe he had like an inkling that Vitality didn't have both players in top site. And the issue is, G2, when they come out of heaven, they die to a player on the site. So they don't know if that's the planter or not. And Jax technically doesn't have the info, but... Yeah, could have peeked off the back of those gunshots and, and tried to trade his teammates. Without that, though, it's still a one round for Vitality. Two in a row with a disadvantage as well. So G2, they are now for Eco with P250s and USPs. It's a round, it's a chance for Vitality to take the lead. Been very keen to take this outside control as well. So moving through. Flash hits Iwu, but it's not a worry. Vitality, they get so much control here, so much information, and G2 have now realized it, but there's not a whole lot they can do or say about it. Not fighting for the yard, they are stacked up right now with a man in ramp. Vitality, just cleaning out CT spawn, making sure everything is sorted, and that they can take control of the heaven or the ramp as they please. Even giving up lobby, and look how passive they're holding it. RPKs and T spawn, so... Vitality, they are playing this round very well, very methodically. They're missing the timing, though. G2's come out from lower. They've walked lobby to hell, back, or to rap, back to hell. Zywu checks it, and he gets all three. Just Jack's left up, climbing on the outside towards his position, but he's been spotted as well. And that will be Vitality taking a flawless Antico for their third. Vitality very, very committed to this five rifle play. They've been a big fan of it. Zaiwu has had the opportunity to pick up an AWP a couple of times now. Always electing against it. And, you know, the rifles have been doing him a lot of justice. So that's with good reason. Apex looking to set up this smoke over here towards outside. You'll already see Zaiwu here as well. Backing up shocks as they try and go for this push. I'm going to throw these in. And these are the deeper ones that fall, giving you an option to cross into main, into garage, as well as allowing the secret stairs to go your way as well. Kenny trying to peek over the top, Ooh. but that's a decision you might come to regret. Shocks was flashed and through a smoke, able to find the man in heaven. 
And now oh, they go no. through main. No oh, one cleared no. Nexa. <laughs> oh dear. Apex, though, head on a swivel. What? Him and RPK in a matter of moments have stripped this round away from G2. And it's Team Vitality in with a fourth yet again. Since the rifles have come out, Vitality have not stepped down in this game yet. And that makes me very excited. This series already living up to the hype that we put around it. Vitality off to a rip-roaring start. I love that from Vitality, right? They kill he Kenny in heaven and they go well. Top side is probably weak now. We've thrown these outside smokes. G2 have probably dropped a player lower, so this is a perfect time to hit main. And they flash in, they don't clear Nexa. He gets away with one, but he could have definitely sprayed down two. Luckily, Vitality are very fast at reacting to his shot, and they just trade their way to a win there. 4 2 up faster secret and i like this as well vitality just they've been throwing these smokes a lot but this is the first time they've run down lower g2 have seen it they've stacked it five players in b in secret for g2 it's an eco they can afford to take this risk and they're going to find guns here if they can just get a couple of kills those are weapons on armored players that timing is unlucky shocks pulls out a grenade as hunter swings him and now g2 they're a man up they have a gun they should rotate up as soon as they can because vitality could be out in fact, they are. Oh dear, G2 don't realize the A site has been lost. And with that, the round. Vitality just being very careful. On plant for heaven. They don't control the outside area. So main could be harboring fugitives. And for G2, it might just be down to saving this one gun and getting exits with the pistols. Oh, Masuda doesn't know it, but there are a lot of fellas on the other side of this lobby room. He only gets the information as to the whereabouts of one. And so, G2 moving as a pack. Oh Ooh. dear, Jax is going to deke down Zaiwu. Apex and RPK left to hold on. And now it is just RPK, the tank. And he's getting overwhelmed, but tapping them down, tapping them out of the round is RPK. And they do hold on on the Vitality side. Now everyone falls. It's good economic damage for G2 in this round at the very, very least. But a fifth on the board for Vitality and the rounds that they have been picking up do leave them with plenty of cash in the bank accounts over here for the Vitality side. That's a two on five from Vitality, right? Like obviously the time is so low and G2, I bet they're regretting not just running out with three guns. But when you're in a five on two like that, you have to at least consider it. You have to look into the site. But G2, yeah, they, they have no armor mainly, and they just start dying to the crossfire. Vitality picking up a 5-2 lead here, and G2 back in with the rifles, right? That was an eco, they make it costly, and they get a gun out of there. So really good round for G2, but now they've got to find some results. Nex has done exactly that, dropping two as they drop main, and he will fall as well. a site getting lost, Saiwoo some excellent entries. There's still a double upper play here for G2 in heaven. But they might want to deconstruct it. Jax is going to swap with Kenny, who goes wrapping towards main. But all of this gets heard. And Vitality drop lower. They know G2 are both here. They want nothing to do with it. Great call. G2, do they even want to attempt this one? It's another man advantage for Vitality in the post plant. Kenny's on the ult. Jax has already given up. He's already like, nah, I'm good, man. I'm fine. You know, this is uh, not really going to be our round, Kenny. And Kenny knows it as well. He's opted to opt out. Six on the board for Vitality. And this is just unreal. This is a hell of a T-side start. They're looking real good. They're winning all their fights. Kenny's getting hounded down, and he might not even get away with this up, although it looks like that's actually going to be fine. They don't go any further. They don't want to risk ruining their own money on the Vitality side. Good hole from Nexa here, right? Like, last time he got a main play, it was a pop flash. It was him not getting checked and having to spray them in the back. This time, they just walk right into him. The value of playing that corner that he does is if anyone drops off a main, you have this uh, shadow advantage. You see uh, them peeking over the edge before they fall. And so Nexa can be prepared to fire off. G2 finding two, but that's all they've got to their name right now. Vitality still in control of the T side. G2's first pause coming to a close. This six-round streak for Vitality looks to be stopped. Can G2 do it? 
Vitality, this is their map pick. And right now, the T side, which is known to be a bit of a bit of a difficult one on Nuke. Well, they're making it look easy. Nice lower drop in the previous round. They don't stick the bomb despite having control of A. They know G2 are going to consider and go for the retake in that position. But once they get B, there's just so many more choke points, so many more positions to clear out. And G2 would rather just hold onto their guns. Let's see what they can do with them. The save is in. Kenny's on the orb. And Vitality, they're looking for seven. Oh, Jax having a drop on down, but he does get some damage off before all is said and done. Kenny here to help out, Whoa. and Jax and him, they'll combine for a couple of kills between them. Kenny having to leave the ramp now, getting pressured, still able to fall back into this slightly more passive angle, Ooh. but it's Zaiwu's MAC-10 finding him. And Zaiwu now does have an AWP to play around with. He's going to upgrade the MAC-10 onto the, uh, the scoped weapon. Oh, no. Not quite found, what? but not denied either. Hunter with the spam doesn't find the kill onto RPK, but has forced a bit of a reposition. Now, in the meantime, he's dealt with shock. Saiwu holding the angle. And this all brings out for another Amanek now all alone. 1v2 to try and attempt. He's got Zaiwu trapped, and he does find the first kill needed. Just RPK left to get past, but he is hidden. Ooh. And Amanek catches him swinging wide, Ooh, does have saving. a kit as well. He was he was bailing, he was out of there, he was running towards ramp, he had his yeah. uh, S button held, and he was looking in the right place, but RPK just gives him a kill, and that's not a very RPK play. Like, you know, if you're gonna go for that, you've gotta hit it. Or just not go for it, because RPK wins the round via time. There was only half the bomb tick left, and you can see Amanek retreating, he just realizes, oh, I won the round. Let's take the defuse. Uh, so, yeah, blocked and loaded here for G2. Great work from Amanek, but certainly not one that, you know, Vitality wanted to let slip. Six, three up. Orp still here for Kenny. G2, they don't want that to be a one and done. They only get away with a single survivor, and so money is a bit of a problem. But Hunter will stem the bleeding. He will take down shots to start the round, and G2 shuffle back in a five on four. Standard outside smokes getting lined up here by Vitality. These aren't the ones that fall for main and garage, so this doesn't really allow for that same, like, mini creep in the same way that Vitality have elected to use it in the past. This, these are just the smokes to cross secret, and so I imagine that's what we're going to see Vitality elect to do here. And now, with this wall of smokes down... Sorry, I was just hoping I'm not doing game fuel. That's fine, Trace. Get it in ya. Because we're going to need the energy here as Team Vitality, a man down, setting up over here towards the lower bomb site. But preemptive rotations in for G2. They've got the man advantage. So they've afforded this early on. They spotted those outside smokes, and they're already here, lying in wait. Vitality, it's RPK to walk into the crosshair first. But Apex has gone round and is now behind next. A bit of an awkward engagement here that Apex is able to win out. Zaiwu. Bested by Jax, leaves Apex in the clutch. A pretty tall order, but he has put the first kill up on the board, tapping the bomb, Ooh. a second for Apex. But there's the trade. Sneaky, close. That's a G2, they salvage a fourth. They're starting to uh, piece together a CT half now, slowly but surely. And they have broken the money of Team Vitality down. So maybe a chance to extend this one even further as yeah. the tactical pause is called in for the Vitality crew. The safe decision here is MAC-10s and, and Tech-9s with a bit of utility in Kevlar, play a fast around, maybe throw those deep outside smokes or drop B from ramp. Could force here, of course, if you're Vitality. There are three AKs available if you'd like to, but uh, obviously that comes with a risk. And Vitality, they're all about risks. They put it all on red and uh, let's see something you never out. do first of all rookie mistake all of on course, black but... or all on green trace um definitely wouldn't say put it all on green now unless you're feeling hairy that day but yeah i would say there's something there in the cards i usually put it all in black to be honest nt's out and hf hf exchanged we're off to the races again yeah, Galil's in the AKs, a solo Mac 10, and a bit of a faster one for Vitality. They're going to try and get down B again. I like the speed moving behind the smokes, not even throwing the last one. Shox just looks for fights through it. He won't get anything, but he does get B. 
When we saw G2 and Nico, their rotation was immediate. This time they're a little late to the party. And the birthday cake and the candles getting made work or blown Ooh. out. But Kenny S, he's relit them. Oh, he's found two. God. And he's stuck in the vents with one point of health. This is a mess. Yeah, it is. And you could just see Shocks didn't want to give him too much of a an angle to work oh. with. Kenny S, a bit of a magician of sorts. Not quite a wizard oh. like Harry, though, so he didn't see that coming. Shox is going to eventually win out that sort of stalemate, that standoff we had in the vents. And now Jax is in the site alone. Oh! Not for long. Quick headshot onto RPK. You do like to see that. It's actually Vitality crumbling, fumbling in the round itself. 12 HP is Shox versus the 19 on Jax and the 100 on Amanek. Oh. And he goes for an op. Well, well, well. Yeah, he knows both these players are split up right now, so he can find one-on-one -on -one jewels, and that's why this AWP is good. No, nope, he's just going to throw it out the map. You don't get to save it today, G2. Obviously, that's in the open, but uh, hoping no one will go through that area. And he might be correct as well. AK grabbed. One on two for Shoxy. Where does he go? Considers the double doors, walks back to the single, and Jax is waiting inside of B. Low health, but that's the same case for Shox. Door open, got to get the immediate kill. And Jax has not moved from the bomb site. He's going to win the round for G2. 5 6. Vitality there by. Very close, but not quite close enough. It's going to have to be a low investment now as Kenny just freestyles with the AWP in the vents. Not the rotation that I thought would work out for G2, but hey, they'll take it every day of the week. Of course they will. Ain't that right, Harry? Yeah, they need everything they can. You know, beggars cannot be choosers. And in this instance, G2 starting to piece together a CT half that they can be proud of. They're still a little ways away from doing that in its entirety. But Team Vitality forced down onto the pistols in this round here and now. Masuta going to D down next set. Hunter's turn now from main. And he will prove to be a real pain, a real nuisance in this round. Shocks his Deagle left in the 1v3 and only for a brief moment before he too is granted the same fate as the rest of his squad. G2, six on the board, tying this one up. And now things get interesting as we approach the latter stages of this first half. Team Vitality, desperate to relive some of those glory days from that 6-0 run that they made just a few rounds ago, heading into this rifle round. Yeah, Vitality have strayed away from the AWP every uh, possibility here on this T side, and with the pace that they've been setting, I don't blame them, but G2 have slowly but surely crept back into the limelight. Four in a row for the Frenchman. Let's see if they can take it over the line. Vitality. This is still a great T side, right? This can end 9 6 for G2, and Vitality can be happy, but I think they want a little bit more. This is their map pick after all. They've shown some depth on this T side. This time, for a change, Kenny is in secret with the AWP, and this is a pretty pivotal position if Vitality want to cross outside. Now, if they don't, regardless of whether they throw the smokes or not, Kenny is going to be able to peer behind them and get that info. So Vitality throws smokes, but we don't see a whole team crossing, and Kenny is going to know this. He's just got to deal with Shoxy. The flash pushes him back, but he can't just wait and be. Meanwhile, Vitality, they're going to beat them to the punch. They're going to try and take this A site with one man wrapping mini. It looks to be shocks, or he can come in on a heaven play, depending on what options are available. But they're not waiting for him. They're going to use him later in the round. It's a fast play out hard and into the firing line. Two players on the site. Hunter with a double. Aminet joins the fray. And next is coming on a rotation. Shocks. They waited all around for this, and it might have no impact. None. Shocks in a 1v5. Now, I'm not a fan of saying let's roll back the ears, but let's see what he's got right now in his pocket. Player have plenty of experience, he just doesn't have time. So that's going to ultimately be the save of his AK. And another round here for G2. We're looking towards the end of this first half, and it has been an Ama neck and neck battle. <laughs> Too much? Yeah. All right. Well, I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm not. So. It's kind of wild when you think about the fact that this whole streak for G2 hinged on that 1v1 of Amanek and RPK all those rounds ago at the B-bomb site when RPK swings wide into a saving Amanek and then actually loses that in the 1v1. And since that round, G2, they've not missed a mark yet. They are 7-6. They're actually back in the lead from being 6-2 down. And in this round...
Sure, Shock's held on to his AK, but the rest of the gang for Vitality aren't going to be buying up around it. So he's the hero AK in this round, and if that doesn't pan out, he'll be on to nothing in the next, the last round of the first half. Well, it hasn't worked out. Shox is actually the first man to fall. And in a very forward position, that AK has gone. Like, you're not ever getting that back if you're Team Vitality. Kenny is going to rotate out from ramp and set up over here at Hell. There's a lot of players there, but he boosted up Jax earlier on in this round. Jax lets them pass and then pounces down. It's crunch time at ramp. Jax and Kenny answer the call and an eighth round on the board for G2. Yeah, this has been quite the resurgence. Remember, Vitality went six in a row here, and, and since that point, it's just been nothing. Not even really close rounds. If anything, they've gotten more and more dominant. Five alive in back-to-back uh, -back for G2. The boost just cleans up house here on the ramp side. Kenny baits him in, Jack shuts him down, and now G2 are looking for the final round. Vitality armed to the teeth. Great hot roof molly coming in. Keeping G2 off that position, and Vitality want to take A quickly. This is a good call. There's not many players in the site. Amanek, he's so blinded. The Molly's faded on the heart, and he's going to try and fight. But Nexus already pushed through the main smoke for a double before he dies, and somehow, Blink, and you miss it. This round, this half, it's all over. G2. Get it. I don't understand all the Bible thumps. I don't understand why you're all so sad. Sarah, she's not coming back, and she's not coming back to this chat, and she has <laughs> nothing to do with you all. Or unless you got your Bible thumbs out there for Vitality, who have had a rough go at it here in the first half of play. Of course, welcome back to the ESL1 Road to Rio. And we're going to continue things just as the show was planned. 9-6 there for G2. And we look at a second pistol on the board. I've got Harry and Hugo with me. And Hugo, of course, some interesting developments there. What's going on, Hugo? Not much, man. Just getting ready for this pistol round, Trace. We should probably take it away. It is live, after all. G2, they're down lower. And they've gotten there with Vitality Ooh. having seen all of it. So I has got to kill Topside. Meanwhile, they're actually going to run right back. They're trying to go towards main. That's a big kill for Amanek. And the P250 certainly helps at a range. Vitality are rotating upper, trying to come through the vent. They've not lost A yet, but they have lost Hell. And that's a position that G2 are all over, climbing back towards a ramp. Not going to take the Heaven route. They can drop B through this as well. This is a good round for G2. They're really switching things up and trying to keep Vitality on their toes. Where's this going to end? Vitality probably don't know, but they've figured it out. The footsteps are there. The B site's been taken. Shox is hiding behind the door, just trying to play with his food, but his food bites back and Jax takes a kill. Amanek follows up and it's all on RPK coming out the door at the right time, right place, but can he shoot them in the face? Oh, there's a man just crossed up on the rafters. RPK tries to go back first to deal with Kenny. But Kenny's not in the mood. 16 to 6 on that man. He's having a good game right now. 10 6 for G2 with the pistol round going their way. As they get off to a good start here over on their T side, that puts them at 2 for 2 in, these, uh, in the pistol rounds thus far. There is a four spy on the cards for Vitality. I'm imagining that's because they want to try and bring the AWP out in the hands of a man like Zaiwu, perhaps. But he hasn't saved any extra cash. He's got to scout an armor into this round. So maybe not. Just looking to get it done with these SMGs. G2 throwing the outside smokes. It's the standard wall that lets you get this secret cross. Amanek does get tagged trying to go down lower. And there is an early rotation in from Shox, as well as Apex joining him now through the vent, meeting up him and Shox back to back. A tale as old as time. <laughs> but they're not going to get offered anything. G2 doing a good job of just waiting around this secret area. Another tag from Zaiwu's scout. Each tag he lands makes this round that much more scary yeah. for G2 because suddenly, you know, this Deagle on Masuta, these SMGs, they become so deadly. And at this point in time, Vitality could even be looked at as favorites in this round. There is an outside split coming in from G2 and a lot of the success as to whether or not they find it is going to kind of rely on Hunter and his Heaven Wrap and how much he's able to get away with. Because right now, Vitality with a big stack at this A bomb site, they're looking up into Heaven. They're not discounting it. And so it's going to be hard for Jackson Hunter to find impact, you think. But saying that, they hop on down into the site. It's an even fight. And oh no, the bomb has tumbled down as well. But it doesn't matter. Nexa does get that first kill. Now just Apex left to find. 
And a 1v1, but Apex leading the way in HP, closes the distance, gets oh, up close. Dear. Nexus sees him on the jump peak. And G2, they get that 11th round on the board. The 1v1 deciding their fate. And Nexa holds his own. Yeah, that's a good spot there from Nexa as well. Jumps, gets the info, and, and can just you know instantly peek and kill him off the back of it. Dangerous. But what other options did he have? I like that play from G2, right? Vitality knew it was coming the whole time. And, uh, and and that's because G2, they do what they did in the pistol, right? They, they cross with Secret, they take Secret, Vitality rotate lower, and then G2 flash out and try and come back. But Zywu with the scout in heaven, he didn't leave that position. He got the info. He knew that G2 were coming back. And so Vitality, they sent players back up the vents to stack A. They almost convert it as well. But almost, well, that means they didn't. So it's an eco round for Vitality here. One where G2 could likely take an even bigger lead and make more money off the back of it with these three SMGs. There's not one Kevlar player here for Vitality. And after G2 default in the lobby for some time, they will eventually back out. Go lay, uh, line up these smokes in the spawn. Try and cross outside. Vitality, not really a lot they can do about this. Uh, so RPK, he can spot, he can spam, but he really can't stop them as he has to let them get control of the outside. They will look through that smoke as well. Hunter shooting through the corner as players often try and cheese their way through the garage smokes. Apex has given away his position. He's going to have to fall as well. And G2, they can do whatever they want with this control. Whatever, whenever, and wherever is not even a real question at this point. Big Garage, it's gonna be Hunter that takes down Apex with the MAC-10. But then of course the rest of G2 Esports have slid down in a secret way and found Zaiwu. Doesn't look to stop there at all. This was never gonna be an easy round for Vitality. And for Mizuda, picks up one, plucks one out of the bunch on his way out. So 12-6 G2 in control right now as it seems. This is the SL1 road to Rio and not only do we have a big matchup on our hands right now? We're going to have another one later, yeah. and that's going to consume, or excuse me, it's going to be with FaZe and Astralis. It's after this. That's pretty wild stuff. Yeah, and that's an upper bracket match as well, right? So even more important because not only is everyone fighting for the grand final, but the team out of those two that, that wins that game and goes to the grand final, which is the best of five, has a map advantage, essentially making it BO4, right? So that's worth keeping in mind. A lot of value of coming in from that upper bracket, something neither of these two teams can muster as they are both down in the bottom side of things and not even guaranteed a spot in the finals of that, right? Winner of this is going to be facing the loser of that Astralis phase game for the finals. So mm. pressure's on. Only one, Fren one French team can make it here. Heretics have already fallen short in a bloody crazy game yesterday with overtimes, with 30 rounds across two maps. And when you say bloody, it's not just like the normal UK way of using the no. term bloody. You're talking about like actual in the server, getting grimy with it, like Mazuda has with the smoke. And even though he pushed it and found the first kill, Ooh. it's not really going to prompt Jacks. that sort of defense for Vitality. <laughs> Amanek it. evens it up a little bit, but not even close. Look yeah. at him go. They, they pressure ramp that forces Zaiwu down on the rotation to B. And once they learn that they send him down to that site, they go, all right, well, we've trapped Zaiwu in a little cage down at the B bomb site. Oof. And now we can try and split A. Shox has come in on an outside push and bought this back into a two on three. But is this something Team Vitality want to even think about attempting? It doesn't look like it. Either Shox is, you know, really going away to like meditate this one over and leaving it onto Zaiwu. Oh, this is just the save. And if I had to hedge my bets, I would say it's the save. Most likely. And now 13 on the board for G2. You know, like while going for this save is, is nice in the sense that it's going to give you something to work with uh, in this next round. I don't know if we're going to see team by... Oh, as I would do it. Do it. Come on. Do something, gross, please. Oh, oh left a bit more. Come oh, on, no. nearly. Oh, go again. Zywoo, oh. come on. Oh. Oh, nearly. So oh, he teased us there, did Zaiwu. Just Could wanted to cool. flex a little bit. I've seen a new game before, Zaiwu. I know you have as well. And he knows where he can shoot and where he can't. It's true. <laughs> but speaking of shooting your shots, Vitality running out of rounds to shoot it in. 
13-6, G2 looking to pick up this first map of play. Now you have to consider a couple different things here. This was already a strong map for G2. And then when you look at it, Vitality picked into this. So really and truly, reminds me of a, a classic song by an artist known as Basement Jacks. Where's your head at, at? Where's your head at? Yeah, I know the song. Yeah, hopefully we don't get copyright strike for that. But point being, this was not easy for Vitality. It doesn't look like it was ever going to be. No, I mean, well, a 6-2, it did feel like it, right? When they were in the control of the T-side, when they had the money, when they had G2 just, you know, over-rotating down lower, it looked good for Vitality, but, well, those that 6-2 scoreline, it's quite turned around. G2 in full control and a fast play upper as well. There's so much damage, there's so many flashbangs, and somehow the T's will come out on top, trading two for two and locking Vitality out of the sight. Smoke in main, Molly in heaven, nowhere for Vitality to go. And they can't afford to save, right? They've been saving already. This has to be an attempt at the bare minimum because right now they are facing a loss in their map pick. Yeah, Shox and Masuta are going to group up in heaven together. Now, Masuta does have a flashbang, but look at Hunter. He's living up to his name. He's tracked the footsteps. He knows what's going Ooh. on, but he's lost his teammates in the site. Hello. The bomb is planted for heaven. Shox is hanging around. Oh, he turns. No. His Shoxy sense is tingling. And Team Vitality, a seventh round on the board. They attempt the three on three. They get the job done. And it's a team ace as well. Everyone chipping in. Everyone pulling their weight in that round there. They needed that one big time. They really yeah. did, man, because they, they all in that investment. On the back of keeping two players alive, they were able to get rifles out. They were a bit limited in terms of utility. And so that's why we see G2 attempt the fast upper play, right? Knowing that Vitality aren't going to have the Molotovs, aren't going to have the right utility to respond. And they were able to get into the site, but they see it through to the very, very end. If that round had drawn to a close and G2 had won it, it would have been a done map, in my opinion. There would have been no money for Vitality. You know, you can't bank on winning those four spy rounds to turn it around, no matter how good you are. No, of course So, not. a huge one for Vitality to keep the dream alive here on Nuke, their map pick in this series. But again, if they lose this one, let's talk about what happens there, Hugo. Vitality, yeah, I mean, they're done, Trace. That's it. No recovery. The ship sailed. Yes. At least in the series, obviously not the map alone. This is a best of three on, on Vitality's pick, but there's no second chances here in this lower bracket. You're already on your second chance. Both these teams knocked down. For G2, they got 2-0 by Astralis. For Vitality, they got in the lower bracket to begin with, right? 2-0 in Godsend, 2-1 in NIP, really earning their spot here, but still having to grind with only one life. That life could be lost here if they don't keep things clean. And even then, it might not be enough. Vitality, one round on the CT side, their first, but it comes after many from G2, four in a row. And G2 are looking to reset them right here, right now. This round for G2 could end the map, and that's the start they needed. Shock's peeking outside, going down to Amanek. It's gonna be G2 crossing towards B through Secret with the bomb. Yes, indeed. Oh, Masuta nice. having a swivel back around and he's converted a second kill on the back of this now as well. He's got Apex clearing out ramp on his behalf. G2 with only one man down at this lower site in the form of Kenny S. They do deal with a man up on A, but Zywu is still here. There's seven seconds. There's no time for a bomb plant. Oops. And so this round is done. That's big though, like that. that's gonna have actually resounding consequences. Zaiwu luckily can get dropped in by Mizuta, but you know, Vitality aren't exactly rolling in money. Actually, Zaiwu can buy himself if he wants no util. Uh, yeah, Vitality aren't really rolling in money. So even that orb kill coming in at the end is so good for G2. No, they lose the round, but they can still invest around that. Have a bit of a, a skew if buy here with four rifles for G2. So actually they're not going to, funnily enough. I thought there would be a full buy, but G2 instead save some for a rainy day. Amanek on a Mac and these two AKs looking to open up an opportunity here. Uh-oh. Rut row. Big problems for Hunter. As he becomes the hunted, Mizuta has to give up ramp room. Zaiwu. It's the follow with the cross here that makes yeah. you respect and love it just so much more. And now G2 are in a dire spot. Kenny has recovered an AK, but overall just a deagle there on Jackson with the bomb in hand. Two-player deficit. They can really only hope the Vitality peeks into them, gives them fights, and then more over on top of that, that they win those fights. 
Nonetheless, they start to teeter down this ramp into lower. Very, very graceful so far. Smoke dropped by Mizuda, and also some headshots, but none of them land. Now Mizuda's trapped in here. He's got to explain the situation to his teammates. And in the meanwhile, it's Kenny. They want to continue aggression on him, eventually removing him. That should give a bomb plan over here to G2. Yeah, Vitality rotating shocks in as that first point of contact. They get off the bomb and they do deal with shocks. They get that trade and now a bomb plant is made available. Apex going to try and charge in to deny it and no one oh, is covering Jax. Nexa too far away and Apex, not only does he deliver the kills required, but he also denies a bomb plant to G2. It, well, I mean, you, you look at that situation in particular, right? And Jax, obviously he can't plant the bomb where he initially went to tap it and he was able to trade but when he goes to plant it again, he relocates behind the silo in which, you know, he, he figures, hey, perhaps Decon's not going to be a threat. You know, I have a teammate alive. No, that's actually not the way it goes down, buddy. And no, neither does the bomb. G2 now with a timeout going back to the board. They realize the Vitality are inching their way back into the game. Yeah, three in a row for Vitality. And that's impressive, right? With their backs up against the wall, it was that three on three top site retake with uh, Hunter flanking Heaven. That was a round that got Vitality back into the swing of things. And they haven't dropped one since. So positive stuff for Vitality. Obviously not even against like 14 or 15 as well, which which makes his comeback even more realistic to conceive because, you know, if G2 have 15, it can just be the case of, of a single round pushing them over to Vertigo and what could have been a 2-0, but now Vitality scraping back, fighting for their map pick tooth and nail on the favored side. They've forced a pause. The buy is here. Kenny is taking his time, but G2 are back in action. It's not going to be a fast play off the back of that, I imagine. And even this buy is a bit weak as well. Hunter's on an MP7 in ideal. a rifle round. Not ideal, I mean. Are they going to burst here? That's what it looks like. Guess who's the man with the plan? It's Apex, standing tall. Or at least standing halfway up the size of the hut. And that's an immediate no. How about no? And G2 is still like toying with the idea of going for this. And now, you know, with the rotations already having come through, they've even peeled the man away from ramp. Shocks had rotated round. So there was a very heavy stack here at the A side of the map. G2 make the correct decision to slow it down a bit with still plenty of time left on this clock. That nade doing a bit of chip damage onto Jackson Nexa. And a few shots exchanged through the smoke. Important to realize that Shox is here, but Masuta is as well. He hasn't left his duties a ramp. He's instead holding this lower site. There's a very heavy emphasis down towards B from Team Vitality at this point in time. Three players within earshot of this lower bomb site, leaving two on upper. Ooh. And Shox winning the fight out over Jax at ramp. Now G2 walking wounded in a three on five. Go back towards this A side of the map. And as mentioned, there was only two players here. This has given some timing for Amanek to work his magic over here outside, get up into heaven, and he could do a lot from this position right now. Ooh. He could solidify around. RPK goes wow. to keep an eye on it. Zywoo flicks back up and does get the trade. They don't know really where he is, but they're anticipating the CT vent, and Kenny does deal with him. However, the flanks are in. 14 oh. Vitality, 10 on the board, double digits reached. And a very doable comeback now for this Vitality squad as once again, they've broken the economy of G2. Yeah, they didn't quite save the orb, but it's okay because they have the money. So 10-13 and Vitality really are piecing this you know, game back together right now. That ramp take from G2, even though it doesn't go well, it does provide uh, an opening for Amanek, right? Vitality, they shift their entire team. They, they peel away from the outside position to take ramp. And that's when Amanek gets his timing towards heaven. He even gets a, a kill onto shocks on the site, but Zywoo is so fast at flicking back up. Uh, like that should be two kills for a heaven ramp, but denied by Zywoo. And even though he only gets that one, it is enough for Vitality to clean up the round, make quick work of G2 Esports. And right now, this is not a quick game because Vitality, they're dragging it out. They are stringing together rounds and they're trying to make this happen. It's seeming more possible than ever. Double digits and an eco round for G2. This is one that screams Vitality. Are G2 going to have solutions once those guns come back out? I think that's the biggest worry, right? Where do they go from here? They've tried a lot of top site hits. Zywoo's always been in position. 
They might go back towards the secret control, at least when they have the smokes. Right now, they're just looking for fights outside, and the only fight they're going to get is one that won't favor them. It's Saiwu with the AWP spotting from heaven. At bare minimum, he wants info. At most, he wants the round, and he might just take it. Oh, Shox is even heading down into lower. So they're going to have this pincer outside. Zaiwu very, very fast on the trigger. Not able to deliver a second. And so players have gotten across into garage. Zaiwu not able to get away. And now Hell looking to be contested here by the side of G2. They get players into it. That man is Kenny, but he's promptly quit picked on up along with the rest of the gang. Hunter all alone. A lot to do, but the Ooh. Deagle is delivering. Down to a 1v2. 30 points of health for Hunter. No defuse kit. Or oh, wait, what? No, no armor. He wouldn't need a defuse kit, but he would need the bomb. And that's what I meant to say. The bomb under vitality control. Got there in the end. And as he tries to go back for it, yeah. I had to try and defuse the situation, Hugo. Which, of course, without a kit, proves to be problematic. Wow. There's all the pauses coming to an end. That's the last one. At least for G2, right? They have exhausted every opportunity, every option. And now they still have a two-round lead. That's the funniest part about all this. For G2, it feels so hopeless. It feels like, guys, what's happening? We're just losing all these rounds. But they're still in control, technically, at least when the numbers uh, come up on our screen. Maybe not feeling it right now, though. Vitality are certainly crawling back. And if G2 don't have, uh, you know, a big solution in this round, this game could slip through their fingers. Of course, it would therefore set us up for a three-mapper. But... At the same time, G2, they don't want to, they don't want this game to go on any longer than it has to. They already had a real hairy one against Heretic yesterday that went the distance. And so they'd like to make quicker work of Vitality. But Vitality, they ain't thinking about that. They are making it as hard as they possibly can. Uh, yes, the hairy heretics, as they're known. Of course, that's more of like a stage name, I think. But nonetheless, yeah, Vitality storming back into this game, creating quite the nuisance for G2. Side smokes coming in late. G2 going to be going through for the cross towards secret. See how many players they throw at the problem. It's not a full commitment. You can see that bomb is not rushing, but it is coming. There's going to be three outside. If we count Kenny, who might go silo here. Yeah, you'll note that there's been a little movement on the minimap as well, right? Masuta leaves his duties at ramp to go get set up down in lower. That prompts the rotation in from Zaiwu, who was the man outside. He's now at ramp room with this AWP. And so this adjustment comes on in. On the back, I'm seeing those outside smokes. Zaiwu is denied an angle to fight, so he takes up a foothold at ramp. And this frees up Masuta to prepare for these players coming down towards B. He's going to be ahead of the curve in that sense. Ooh. And will beat Amanek to the punch. Now, G2, they find a kill in amongst all this madness. They have players still outside. And because Zaiwu's not there, no one's spotting it. So this opens up main as a possibility. Jax is going to blindside RPK, but Ooh. Apex refusing to budge from inside of this bomb site. But it's Kenny to grant him death. Zaiwu up in heaven. Masuta wrapping in through secret. Bomb plant looking to come through for G2. But Kenny taps it for heaven. Crosses onto heaven's side. He's in the crosshair of a man Ooh. like Zaiwu. But Nexa <laughs> will put up the kills required. Bye. Spin it inside of this a bomb site three on the board and a 14th for the g2 side a tactical timeout for yeah. vitality we've had i want to say like seven tack pauses now in a row that's correct in a row no yeah, yeah. I, well, I i think so it's more like g2. five in a row but yeah probably g2 have none left vitality have one left after this so they've certainly used seven maybe not in a row though but either way, like that's a big round. Nexa, he pushes himself to the top of the server with that 2K. What a hold. Zaiwu's not even trying to fight. Zaiwu's not even trying to get involved. He's waiting for Mizuta in main. And, and somehow Nexa finds an angle back up against the wall towards the hut. He sees the tippy top of Zaiwu's head. He hits a dink, he hits a shot, and he gets that kill, closing the round on to Mizuta as well. Excellent work from Nexa and Kenny. G2. They make it work, they make it hurt, and they find 14 first. Two to push them over the line, and well, if they find this one, then the second will be hand-delivered by Vitality. This buy is weak. 
Shox is on a glass AWP. Zaiwu's rifling. Same story for Mizuta, but a pistol and an MP9 certainly doesn't bode well for Vitality. No, it does not. G2 picking up that one. We talk about rounds needed. Just the feeling to get yourself closer to the edge is has got to be a good one. Ooh. There it is. Ooh. Dominic down here towards the lower tunnels, creeping on in. They've liked having a man at Go Secret have G2. And you understand why, because it does force this repositioning a lot. And that's why Amanek down towards B, spraying that smoke, not just making sure that no one's waiting on the other side, but he's being very uh, purposefully kind of loud on his presence here down in secret. Now, this time, Zywi was the man over towards outside. He's not got the orb, as you can see, that's in the hands of Shox. He's waiting in garage. He knows there's a man down lower, but he's only heard that Mac 10 fire off. And Shox is toying with the idea of a rotation down. He needs to keep holding this position because it could be an opener for the side of Vitality. And indeed it will be. But in amongst all of this, Hunter finding Zaiwu out in the garage. And with this kill coming in outside, oh, no. there's a lobby crunch what? from the other side of Vitality. They all come right. through hot. You understand why they've done it, right? With outside getting pressured, I think they start to anticipate there's going to be an A play, which was the intention of G2. However, they then do the standard thing, which is to try and take lobby. They only have pistols, so they go rushing into the back line of G2 at ramp, and they find themselves a the 12th round on the back yeah. of it. And that doesn't help the G2. The, the aim of the game is, is to walk into ramp, but that is where the best weapon, really the only weapon the Vitality have is, of course, it shocks with the AWP and G2 go right into it, losing a man and then getting quick flanked. The whole time you're coming, you're thinking about that AWP, you're scared that it's going to repeat, re peak And even though shocks drops lower, the flank does it all for Vitality, dropping the bomb. So shout out to Apex for that. And it's put Vitality back in with money, back in with a buy, and still a shot at taking their map pick. Oh, Hunter, he doesn't realize he just hit Shox through the smoke. Shox gets a chance to back up, though. Giving up outside, knowing the pressure is there, knowing G2 want what he has. And he won't give them it. Oh, that looked dead on, but Zaiwu, a pixel gap, and he gets spotted first by Jax. The AWP has been removed. Pretty much do or die time right here. If you're G2, you want to pick up this round. And you've already started in the right direction by taking Zaiwu out. Nex is going to hear that. Ooh. Ooh. And he's going to bite into it, too. No one there. That wasn't a bait set up. He just makes a ton of noise on his way with that AWP to try to regain and try to control secret. Yeah, you're kind of hoping if you're shocked. So all this noise that you've made hasn't gone unnoticed. You kind of want G2 to fall into this A bomb site because you've completely left ramp if you're Vitality. You have abandoned the ramp room and you have stacked everyone over here towards this A side of the map in a triple hold. So that's why Shox isn't afraid about being loud on that rotation. It's all feeding in to trying to funnel G2 into this stacked A site and it might work out. Masuta looking up into heaven as this utility comes in. He blindsides Amanek and Hunt is preoccupied with trying to deal with the player down in the site. However, all the kills have come in and once again, it's Nexa providing the openings to get them into A. Shocks in this 1v4, and there's wow, no yeah. illusion as to where shocks can be. That is the downside about being loud on that rotation. Even though it works, even though G2 walk into the stack, they still pick up the round. I honestly thought Vitality would have won that just because of Mizuta's position, right? Holding heaven, that's the hardest spot to, to get out of if you're G2. You've got so much to clear, and uh, you know, you've got that player right below you as well. They try and take him down, Mizuta gets a kill, and then the timing is good for G2. They burst door, and no one's watching it. So Jax can just shoot the feet of Mizuta safely. He's at no risk there. And he gets that kill, setting G2 up to win the round. Mizuta can't cover heaven. Hunter can drop and G2 can just take it. Great work. They knew Shox was lower. Like you said, that AWP was very loud and proud. And G2, they got to be happy right now. 15 up. Looking to push us over the line, looking to take us to Vertigo and looking to do it on their opponent's map pick as well. This is Vitality's choice in the series and it may not go their way. Four spy up against 15. MP9s, Digon Zaiwu, Mizuta with a Famas. Nothing is looking good here for the likes of Vitality. They are going to need three in a row. Yeah, this was not the way that it was meant to go for Vitality. Of course, the last round potentially upon us. The buy Hugo's talking about. 
Full of woes. Full of no's. Full of no's. Here comes a wall of smoke. It's going to give Omanek that veil, that curtain to cross, and he does. Which has created a whole new set of problems for Vitality. Yeah, keep your eye on this ramp progression, though, from Vitality right now. That's what we should be focusing on. They push in early. They get the information that Lobby is clear, which, when coupled with these outside smokes, would suggest that that's where the majority of G2 players are. So these rotations come in very, very fast for Team Vitality. Shock's on the site here, the Molly's in the door. Oh, the rotates come down from the Famous, but they haven't cleared out Shock's yet. He's gonna get have the element of surprise, and he drops a bomb with his first fight through the double doors, oh. and Shock's has two. The Orb hasn't committed. Kenny's gone back into decon, thinking Hunter would win the round, and that has not been the case. It's Nexa on his own, and he needs to get on the case. So one on three, the Orb instantly rids him of the round, and Vitality, it feels like they're almost better when they have lesser weaponry. Shock's gets away with far more than he ever should. G2, two picks on B, and then Shox does this. Excellent stuff. Kenny definitely, you know, at least from hindsight, should have pushed out there, but he thought his teammate had that one. Not the case. Yeah, one of the other problems there, right, is Nexa was back in, uh, not, not in lobby. He was actually waiting towards T-spawn, trying to catch players on a hyper-aggressive flank. Um, that never comes through for Vitality, but what did in that round was the uh, the push through ramp. And that's what happens if you don't have a guy holding lobby oh, in a split no. like this. Speaking oh, of boy. splits, Masuta cuts G2 in half, almost single-handedly. And Shox and Zaiwu are there to put a 14th on the tally. Overtime now on the cards in the first map of this series. Wow, G2, sir. they've been sat at map point for a little while now. Vitality, they needed to put three on the board in a row to take it to OT. Well, they've done two out of three. So this either ends here and now. And this little mini comeback from Vitality was all for naught. Or we run it back in overtime. Let's run it back. Why not? What else are we doing? We've got a whole best of three to do this, so the more rounds, the merrier. G2, do they have a solution? The lower play does not work out. Like I said, ramp progression for Vitality. Mizuta has been so good at getting info for Vitality in the CT side. He's always been very, very you know, aware of when is safe to push, when is dangerous. And as a result, often Vitality stacked in the right place at the right time. Even though G2 have walked into a lot of stacks, they often get a lot of kills, so... It's not the end of the world. Smoke's outside again. Question is, how many commit behind it? I don't think it's going to be a full execute here for G2 behind the smokes. They have been losing these lower rounds. Maybe they're going to try and split A again and play on the left side of the smokes towards main. That seems to be the intention here for Hunter. Crawling around. Shox is in the vent. Apex. Pretty much alone on the A site right now, it seems. Got RPK on the rafters. That is it. That's the only defense on this A site. Molly lands. Zywoo comes in on rotation, but G2, they are hitting it. Oh, man. And Zywoo currently the only saving grace. He's the only one to pull a frag for Vitality in this round. That bomb's going to get planted. Jack's going to take a lot oh, of damage in the dear. process. Here comes Mizuta. And he's not going very far. It's going to be Zywoo.